Four games to go, and we've reached a crucial point in the season. The title could be decided in this episode. Stay tuned. I might have spoken just a touch too soon, because I clicked continue once, and I got the news report to tell me that uh, Ledger have secured the title. I did my maths wrong. They're 13 points ahead of us, not 10, uh, as of the start of the day. Um, There are 12 points to play for for us, so, you know, we're not getting anywhere near that. So really our our biggest focus now is securing the second place against Rakoff, um, which is interesting. Also, interesting developments in the series, um, because despite the fact I've secured second and we were predicted to finish fifth, the board won't give me a new contract at the moment, which is uh, concerning. You'd think they'd want to give the guys one a title and try and come close to winning a title this season. Um, one a title the first season, obviously, and come close to winning a title this season. You'd think they'd want to give me a contract extension, but apparently they feel really strongly about that whole FA Cup thing. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, in the meantime, Kel Sherpin plays in goal. Felipe Cruz, Igor Gomez, Mark Guay at the back because Puerto has picked up a knock. Just a tiny one. He'll be fine. Um, and Piasek at left back. Vincent Longstaff, Jankovic, Ina Bakare, because that's not saying he's not fit. Um, and then Brighton, Sterling, Divine, Williams, Lester, Shao, Puerto, Dan Leach, Bargel, Brown and Gonzalez. And yeah, things need to improve massively. And I don't know how to find that improvement. Although I am thinking maybe Dershal is going to go in for Bright at some point because he's on better form. Which ultimately is what makes the world go round, is better form. Um, But in the meantime, we need to get through this one game. And hopefully we will do so, you know, with a win. Um, Some players we recognise in the Rakoff team, of course, in Nuvier. um, Kaspiership we've come up against before. Uh, I believe we've come up against Piakowski before. And Viola has definitely scored against us. So a few people to watch out for. But into the game we go, hoping for better performances than the last episode. So there's, there's, I'm, I'm in a rock between a rock and a half place because there's nothing left to play for. But I have got a batch to record these episodes. As I've said before to cover my exams, so I need to kind of grind out the content that we, you know. So this is kind of a redundant episode. So if I don't talk about what's going on in the match, you know, as much as I would talk about what's what the plans are going forward, then don't hold it against me. Because essentially my plan is see if I can get a new contract once the season's up. Um, and do a transfer window, or we're going to have to talk about whether or not we move on, which means going to be a gap and a carry. of right has scored his 26th of the season. He must have been listening to me, which is good. Good early start. We can rack off of the team directly behind us as well, so we need to start putting a gap between us and them to secure second. Um, yeah, if we don't get the contract extension, we'll obviously have to move on because we're at the end of our contract right now. Um, <laughs> and that was not the plan when I started the series, so I don't know where we'll end up going. Um, we'll probably continue this as a series, but we'll go elsewhere, and I'll just have to rename the series. We'll do like a club two, and this can become a journeyman thing. Um, but we'll see. Um, you know, Bakari has a pop from distance. He's scored as well, sixth goal of the season. We're going to go on a tear now. With it. now the pressure's off, we're going to go on an absolute smashing job. Um, yeah. Also, I feel like if we get um, second place secure by next episode or in the next episode we'll we'll have a look at the youngsters we'll play play the best potential team we have of players who are here on permanent contracts gives them some football we get to see what the future looks like should we be staying and should we not be staying we get to look at who we'd like to take with us because some of those guys will be fairly easy to prize away uh Piercek with a throw in at Tujankovic who gets brought down um the ref saying no foul but Finson's picked it up anyway uh, and it's gone all the way back to Sherpen, and we're going to hopefully build from the back here. But let me know in the comments, because I am still reading comments, even if I'm not recording. Um, let me know what you feel about, do we move on? Do we not move on? Do we end the series, try something new? Um, I have something else in the part that was going to be a second series that I could pick up instead. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Felipe Cruz has a pop, and it go, does not get in the net. Um, yeah, so, you know, thoughts and things, uh, either in the comments or on Twitter, would be outstanding. Uh, Sterling with a header puts it over the bar, because, you know, the intention, I said when I started the series, the intention was to take Schloss to be a European powerhouse, 
and of course we've just qualified for Europe. We are we are officially in the Euro Cup too now. Um, but I can't make them a European powerhouse if I'm not manager. Akira Wright puts the ball forward. Uh, Lukovic heads it clear, but only as far as Longstaff, who should find the ball out to Wright, who had options but went alone. Well, at least he scored once. Um, yeah. So, like I said, it's kind of, how are you guys are feeling? I, I'm inclined to move to another club, maybe either in Poland or elsewhere and we'll see where we end up um yeah because it would be nice to do something else i mean actually there's part of me saying it'd be nice to go out to england because i haven't managed in england at all on fm20 like oh I'm, apart from the beta when we went to arsenal obviously um we continued in the streams um but i haven't actually had a save like a, a series in england it might be nice to go out to england i'm very aware that the Swindon job just came up because they've just been relegated to the Conference North, but they're also in the middle of a board takeover. So there might be some big money coming in there that could be an interesting extension. But obviously plan A is to stay in Wrocław. Um, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. Well, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's fine. Piasek heads it clear. Uh, Ina Bakari has picked up the ball and now he's going on a tear. He's going to go it alone. It looks like he's going to try and get one of those great solo goals we see so often. He has got one of those great solo goals we see so often. That's his seventh of the season, his second of the game. I can't fault that at all. Cannot even begin to fault what we've just seen. Um, just picks it up, goes on a run, beats his man like he's not even there. Another guy comes to see him, he's like, nah mate, sorry, not going to happen. Slides it in just inside the post. And uh, that's that's the ball game there, really. Um, yeah, it, also having an uncertain future means it's kind of hard for me to decide. Like Most of the best loanies bar Longstaff are secure for next season. But I can't really make plans because if they're not going to give me a new contract, I don't want to be picking up the best players on offer in the summer. Um, because I could need them wherever I go. Um, so yeah, it's a bit up in the air. We're going to have to see what happens, the future of the save. Purely, purely as I said, because of the lack of contract offers that have come in. Because Sterling has picked up a knock, which means he can come off. And we're going to send in Valdemar Liss. So yeah, why not? Why not? We're 3-0 up. Send in Valdemar Liss as a striker. We can always rejig things if we need to later on. Um, because I know he can do a he can do a job up top. He just needs to not have people trying to fire balls at his head. Uh, Felipe Cruz, Ina Bakari, back to Longstaff. Ina Bakari has an option outside, and he's found Felipe Cruz. And what can Felipe Cruz do? He thought about a run, and by the time he decided to do the run, it was too late. And now we're back on the back foot. And Nuvier is attacking us, and we need to do some defending way better than that. What was that? That was awful. Luckily, Kiel Sherpen has come to save the day once again um yeah so there could be there could be developments coming there could be developments coming we'll see what happens um it's very annoying that schlotter apparently don't want to keep me after me putting in the effort to win them a title a second place finish potentially and a second crack at Europe. Uh, well, I feel like Felipe Cruz needs to come off. Um, Nico Williams is coming back to match fitness, so we'll work on that. Igor Gomez probably needs to come off, but also he's... The the perfect replacement for him is Puerto, and Puerto is not ready. But also, Ina Bakari is on the verge of securing his hat-trick, which does mean he, mean, does mean he will need a hero send-off. Let's drop some praise. See if we can make a third goal for Inabakari come. Because if I sub him while he's on a hat trick, he'll get an absolute mard on with me. I can feel the mardiness coming if I take him off. Uh, one sub. Who's the guy? I guess it comes down to Bargel really coming on because Bargel needs the extra match fitness, um, which will be useful for the running. 
I don't know how much match fitness you can acquire in three minutes, but we'll see, we'll see how the game calculates that. Um, Gleaver has picked up a goal, a free kick, I would guess. Uh, we need to get straight back at them. Inabakare is going to make me look like an absolute monkey now. He's going to score a third goal. And be like, ah, should have let me have that hero send off, bud. But he hasn't done it just yet. Inabakare picks it back up again. We've got we've got a foul. We're going to go review the footage. Are we going to review the footage and get a penalty? Is that going to be how we're going to finish this game off with a penalty? That's how Ian Bakari is going to repay me. He's going to win himself a penalty and then finish it and get his hat trick and be like, boss, where's my send off? Like, where's my, where's my applause? It's going to come. There is no penalty. Excellent. I mean, not not excellent. Obviously, we'd like the goal, but also excellent that I'm not going to get made to look like a fool. Um, th that's the game. That's the game. A three 0 win. Just checking on the league table because obviously that puts us eight points ahead of Rakoff. Three games left to go, which means we can secure second in the next episode by scoring a win. Well, by picking up a win, I guess. Picking up a win would do it. A draw would theoretically do it, but a win would definitely do it. Um, because I have Sterling's out for three to four weeks, which is not ideal. We'll do the press conference. Why not? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, we will excellent to reserve the win. Key for us to get a good start. Everyone enjoy this goal. That's what Bright's capable of. Hero is a joy to watch when he plays like he is. Um, and he was outstanding. And that's all we need to say. Really, Ina Bakari will will praise him for being good in front of goal because he was good in front of goal. Um. I feel like he's played better now he's adjusted to the fact that he's not being immediately replaced by Izzy Brown. Um, right, we shall go forward to the next episode now, well, the next match, which is against Leisure in four days. And yeah, hopefully we'll pick up that win that secures second so we can have a look at the gun guns in the next episode and see how it goes. Two big games today. Uh, the first, of course, is our game against Leisure because it would be nice to win. Um, the other one to keep an eye on though is the game between Rakoff and Gornik because if Gornik get a win we have definitely got second place. Um, so that's important. Legia are of course the favourites because they've hardly put a foot wrong all season. I think that last loss was against us. Um, well their last loss was against Rakoff. Okay. Um, interesting. But yeah, even so, um, we need to get a win. However, um, Obviously, Israel Puerto is still injured, which is a bit of a disappointment. Also, uh, Igor Gomez got suspended as a result of that last game. So, uh, Gabriele Bellodi is going to make what I think is like his fourth appearance for the club. Not even that, his second appearance for the club. The guy got on loan from Milan. Um, yeah, so an untested defensive partnership in a team that is Sherpen, Cruz, Bellodi, Gwey, Piasek, Finson, Longstaff, Jankovic, uh, Inabakare, Wright and under Jolie starts up top because obviously Kaziah Sterling is out for the rest of the season um, and he was the guy that the assistant manager recommended for that role so I thought let's try it out see what happens I don't know if we've seen under Jolie before I don't think we have because he hasn't played um, I brought him in uh, I forget where I brought him in from actually I, had, I usually have the thing here I don't know why it's there uh, he came in from Bournemouth um, he's quick though he was, he's quick and he's got some potential so I you know, that was why I brought him in. We think he might be good. Essentially, also a Kerry Wright, very much wanted. And I'm hoping to secure Matty Longstaff because he finally found a contract that he could agree to. So hopefully we'll get that done before the next episode. In the meantime, uh, on the bench, Divine Williams, Lister, Sharp, Puerto Danaliuch, Bargel, Brown and Gonzalez as usual. And we will do some rotations because there will be no more lone players playing after the point where we secure second, because I, I want to have a look at those youngsters. So the next episode could be a whole bunch of youngsters playing, which could be interesting for a future we don't know we have. Um, this is the team that won the league. I know very little about them because I've not been paying full attention to Legia. I've just been trying to chase them down. So we'll hope they are beatable again. Uh, we've already beaten them once, uh, but we'd like to beat them again, just to make a point that next year we are coming for you. I mean be nice for the guys to make the point at least next year they're coming for them i might not be the, be here because they haven't given me a contract yet still uh that's looking like he's going to go to a little tally for var because we are looking for a penalty um 
if we get it, great, and if we don't, we'll keep trying. I do wish this didn't take so long though. Surely he can just radio a guy in the stands like in rugby and be like, is that a thing? And they'll be like, yes or no. It seems like a straightforward thing. Either way, let's go to the assistant, re the video assistant referee. I can have a little conversation with my fellow manager. We're just going to have you know, a little chat about the weather. Why not? What's it going to say? It's saying a penalty. Good choice. Um, we're in the white today, by the way. And Akiari Wright is, of course, taking the penalty because that's literally what he does. Let's see what he can achieve, shall we? Um, hopefully a goal. A goal would be the ideal. A goal is what we get. It's 1-0 already, and we are making our point. 27th goal of the season for Akira. It's 50th league goal for the club, which is quite the achievement, frankly. Quite the achievement for a guy who we got on a free because Bayern Munich thought he wasn't good enough. Okay. You know, weird flex, but we'll go with it, right? Uh, let's do another get creative because I want to see more goals. Um, Guay is pressured, which is interesting. They're also fired up by something. Felipe Cruz takes a corner. Can we get this one away? Kerry right off the bar. He looks very up for this. I don't know if he's trying to just make himself really attractive as a prospect for would buy. There's a lot of people sniffing around him, but we'd like them to not buy him if we can. Um... Because I'm going to be here next season. He is going to be a guy we, we keep building around. At least for one more year. At least for one more year. And if they do decide they're going to bin us off and not give us another contract, which would be brutal, then I'm taking him with me. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Piercek to Jankovic. Jankovic heads it down. Finds Binson, who finds Ina Bakare. He's got his back to goals. So can't do anything. Piercek is through. Piercek gets himself his second goal of the season. An unlikely hero. But a hero nonetheless, and phew, that's good times. This is Legia. Maybe they've given up on the season. You know, they've, they've won the title, we don't care. But also, we're out to embarrass them. So, you know, you feel like 2-0 uh, down in the first half, their gaffers may be saying, like, boys, pay attention, like, this gets to 4 or 5-0, I'll probably get fired. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. We've dropped some praise on them, though, and they are happy. Everyone is looking shiny, happy people. Uh, half time, good times, 2-0. Uh, let the team know we appreciate their efforts. Sure, they look delighted. Um, this is going to be one of those games where I send Valdemar Liss on for at least half an hour, I think, just to help his development. Felipe Cruz with an awful throw-in, and Kochanowski has picked up the ball. Ball back to Imelec. Um and then we've, yeah, we've taken it back. Inabakare has picked up the ball back to Gwei. Gwei with the ball out to Piercek. What's Piercek got to offer for us? Hopefully a good run down the wing. It is, but he has to go on his right foot to cross it, and he didn't want to, apparently. Uh, Finson with a ball across to nobody, because Felipe Cruz was not where he should have been. Even I could see he was not where he should have been. And now Murillo is going to hit us on the break. Sherpin, equal to whatever that was. And that seems like a good, good decision. Okay, where are we at in terms of players playing well, badly, fitness? Jankovic is probably going to be the guy that comes off for this, I think. I had it over the bar. Um, just because he is on a yellow card. I mean, he's probably not going to play another game for us this season, though, because uh, I'd assume things are going in our favour. Gornick and Rakoff, they are. Beautiful, right. Sub time. Quick sub time. Uh, Jankovic coming off, Valdemar Liss coming on. Um, that's not to say that, you know, Izzy Brown won't make an appearance. He's probably going to make an appearance in the next episode for sure. Uh, Fright with a ball over the top. Gway heads it just over the bar. And, uh, yeah, that should be the time for the sub to happen. It is. Good times. Let's drop more praise on them because they've deserved it. Uh, we are... I said I was going to take off Felipe Cruz, but actually I don't really need to unless he's really tiring. Um, because this might be his last appearance of the season too. Uh, let's send on Nico Williams anyway. We'll have a look at Nico Williams, see if he is in the mood to play today, because that could be good. Let's get a throw in in good. Piercek to Inabakare. Piercek picks it back up, plays it back to Inabakare again. Inabakare, he's got a good sight of goal. He has a pop, but the keeper has managed to keep hold of it. Well, I say keep holding, he's managed to stop it. And it's another corner, and the corner again going to be taken by Valdemar List this time, apparently. 
uh, cross into Kerry Bright doesn't really go anywhere um, but Finson is going to chase it down because that's what Finson does there's no one there to help him at all no one to help him and he's had to play an absolute hospital ball essentially uh, you know Akare picks it up and that ends the highlight and that's pretty strong um, I'm not convinced by this under Jody fella up top he's not really done much to help he'll probably get another game next ch another chance next time of course um, but we're gonna send in Izzy Brown because we spent good money on Izzy Brown and I'd like to maybe see what we're getting for that money I think we spent good money it was a free transfer we're paying him a lot of money um, as part of getting Matty Longstaff to agree a contract by the way who hasn't signed it yet I had to uh, guarantee him he'd be always be the highest earner at the club which I always feel slightly awkward about doing, but he's been such a quality player for us that tying him down also felt like a good idea. We've t we'll hopefully have him tied down for three years. Um, that's a 2-0 win, though, against Legia of Warsaw. That should be us secure in second, but I'm going to do quick math in my head. The six points, 67. Yeah, second place secure. Does that mean they're going to tell us what our budgets, our budgets look like? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. I'm going to go and do all this off screen and then we're going to do the next episode. So let's um, wrap things up. Thank you for watching, guys. I've been Chasing Lamely. If you haven't already, like and subscribe because liking and subscribing makes me feel happy. Um, also, social medias, come and talk. Why not? I'm here. Um, and yeah, uh, until next time, guys. As always, I've been Chasing Lamely. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.